Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this quick, easy, simple card. Quite pretty. I used the stamp set Falling Flowers and I used that image. This stamp set is retiring um, by 3rd of June, that's retiring. And I'm also using All That You Are and I'm using the Happy Birthday. I'm not sure what's happening to this stamp set. Um, the cardstock I used, changing the colour. I've got Berry Burst at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of designer series paper, and this is from when these color, the in colours came out in 2017. This paper came with it and I've still got loads left so I thought I'd use it. Oh, and this is 3 and 7 eighths by 3 inches. I have a piece of berry burst at 2 and 3, two and three quarters by 5 inches and a piece of white at two and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So, just stamp on this and we want the inside bit as well because I did do a bit, a little bit of stamping on that. Right, I have just re-inked my ink pad so it's going to be very juicy, I think. Let's move that a minute. And with our stamp, I hope this works. Because I haven't used this stamp ink for so long, it kind of dried out. Right, I'm just stamping that in the middle of the card, I hope. Birthday. I'm going to stamp that just there. Nice. Doesn't seem to be as bright as Berry Burst. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go around these thick bits that have like a mottle effect on it. I think I should have left the um, ink to go down a bit more. Don't think it seeped in the foam enough. All right, I've got my Blushing Bride marker pen and all I'm doing is just going over the colour in the buds and the leaves in Blushing Bride. It's all I've done there. And believe it or not, that is it. Oh no, I'm going to try and attempt this. Let's see how it works. A bit of scrap. And I'm going 
going to just stamp a bit there. Colour these ones in. My sister from Ireland came over for a visit, not last week, week before, and she went through all my scrap bin and my dies and my punches. And she either punched or die cut shapes out to take back for her and her granddaughter to make cards. So my scraps, I've got hardly any scraps now. <laughs> Not that I mind. She's going through her radiotherapy this week, started it this week. So won't be able to do much card making if she's got to die cut and stamp and god knows what else but she said she will give it a try she's actually staying the hospital she's got to go to is Galloway in Southern Ireland Ireland which is two and a half hours away from where she lives so the hospital are putting her and her partner up in a lodge for the next six weeks. Well, she'll come home at weekends. Her treatment's Monday to Friday for six weeks. So she says she'll do what she can. looked really well when she was over which is good she's just got to go through the ugly bit of treatment now our mother had breast cancer and there is five girls, and one of us had to get it. I'd rather none of us got it. Right, this is going to go up on dimensionals. There's my stamping mark. There we are. So, one in each corner. And two down the middle. Take the backing off. Right, and we just place that in the middle. That's it. And I think we will add gems to this one. I'll just add three gems. Yeah. Just put one there, one here, and one there. 
Let's put some on this one as well. One there. One there. And one there. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.